name's Corey, and this is my modern tiny house. I'm going to give you a virtual tour. It does have a keypad uh, for locking and unlocking. We've already done that. Uh, first, I want to show you the screen. Um, that's on the inside, which is really great, um, and it is a soft close screen. There also will be a, above the door here, there will be a, uh, an awning installed. This is the living room area here. Uh, and then this is gonna be your living room and kitchen table, all in one. So you can access it from the couch, you can access it from the chairs, which we have going on over here that I can show you later. This is flush with the wall, which is really nice because it gives you a nice open space here. Um, lay down a yoga mat, things like that. Um, so here, like, this is kind of the office space. Um, you know, space for a laptop, um, nice place to set that. Um, and then I also have a spot for a printer and then a plug for the printer and the laptop inside here. This drawer here is the perfect space for uh, a file system. Uh, we'll have files in there and then just a little extra on the side there. Um, we also have butcher block countertops in the house. Um, really nice high quality faucet here with this soap dispenser. Uh, down here we've got lots of storage underneath. Uh, fire extinguisher is already installed there. Over here we've got uh, an extra drawer. And then we also have drawers underneath. There's one here. And then you got a second one over here. Um, next we have our gas stove, which is propane. Um, that's all set up. It has a regular oven and also a broiler down the bottom with four burners. Uh, we have our uh, fan and light, and then we have our microwave. Uh, this is also uh, just a cutting board that we made as well. Um, down here, this is just kind of a big open space. Opens up uh, together with the space that the uh, hot water heater is, and also the um, power. Uh, this area is basically for, uh, I, I made it big enough so that you could fit a water tank in there or a, uh, or batteries or both. This house is solar ready. All the lights are LED. Uh, the door to the bathroom is a slide and then it has a soft close, so it's kind of soft closing right now. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, and then this will have clouded glass that will have a tint on it uh, so that you can't just see in there. Um, right here I've got DC, so this is so that in case you have a refrigerator with uh, that's going to be gas, that's how, how you can get it turned on, or electric. Um, here we have the closet. Got a couple chairs here for the kitchen. Um, this has a light in it that turns on for you. Uh, when you open the door, uh, and then you have the light switch here for the stairs. Down here, uh, just nice big drawer. This is where your ladder goes. The ladder, pretty cool, just extends up really easy. And then that's how you access your lock. It is a great for just a storage space, or um, it could be potentially a second bedroom. Here we have our mini split on the ceiling. Um, turn that on, you can see it kind of opens up. The mini split is an air conditioner and a heater. I mean, what's really cool is right now I'm actually only plugged in with a 20 amp service uh, and everything works. So this tiny house has a really low power draw uh, and I did that on purpose. 
Um, it does have a 30 amp plug-in, which I'll show you soon here. And uh, right down here, we have an extra storage uh, under the first step, along with, of course, storage under the rest of the stairs. Um, but let's take a look up at the master bedroom. The stairs are all butcher block as well. So up here, we have uh, some closet space. Um, we've got closet space here. Inside here, I've got an outlet and um, also a cable. So this is where the TV is going to go. Uh, TV, the idea is the TV will be on top. You'll be able to watch from the living room, and then you'll be able to tilt it around uh, to watch from the bedroom as well. And then again, closet light comes on automatically as you open the door. You can access this uh, cabinet from up here, or again, you can use the ladder from downstairs. As far as the lighting goes, you turn the light on when you come into the bedroom. And then here you have um, an on-off switch and also a dimmer. Uh, you have your book light, which is adjustable. And then you also have an on-off switch on this side, so you can control, the, control that from both sides. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the inside of the tiny house. Um, this has been a, a labor of love, and I do love it. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Let's look at the outside. All right, so here we have the outside. Um, right here is the water inlet. Um, so on here, basically what you have is your hose plug-in, and then this one here is to fill up your water tank. They do put a lock on that. Um, got your hot water heater here. This is your 30 amp plug-in, which I said, again, I said I have it just on a regular 20 amp right now. This is uh, just a, a little pigtail here that um, converts it from a 30 amp to a 20 amp. So you plug it into a regular outlet. Again, everything works. You obviously can't run everything at the same time, um, but you can use the air conditioner like this, which is really cool. Uh, and then I also have the cable inlet here. Uh, that's gonna be for your Wi-Fi. Over here, this is the uh, com uh, air compressor for the air conditioner. Uh, this is the Mr. Cool setup. And then here we have your storage shed. Um, so there's plenty of st extra storage space in here. Two propane tanks hooked up with an automatic uh, switchover valve. So when the first tank runs out, it'll automatically switch over to the second tank.